Good morning and welcome to Life of Paulus, everyone. I'm so excited. I almost can't believe that we're able to make this video. This is crazy, absolutely crazy. Today, we're gonna get a chance for me to pick one of three ultra rare and ultra special Ferraris to drive out to a photo shoot. I'm gonna get a chance to drive one of the craziest Ferraris of all time. Let me show you which three I get to pick from. Car number one, guys, is a 2000 14 Ferrari 458 Speciale and my goodness is this an incredible car actually owned by a buddy of mine who traded this in for the A12 super fast this is car number one moving on guys to car number two we have a 2009 Ferrari 430 Scuderia and this one is special guys one of 499 this is the 16M version super super rare not very many were imported to the US this is car number two and saving the best for last guys we have a 2011 ferrari 599 gto the legend this is car number three so how do we make our choice guys all three of these cars are just absolutely incredible i don't even know i i'm i'm the luckiest guy in the world what can i say i think i think we're gonna have to pick the 599 GTO, just because of how rare it is, not many people get a chance to drive a car like this in their lifetime. And I, I get to have that lucky experience today. Let's do it. Well, folks, we've got the key. It's time. for something like this to happen but oh my gosh I feel I feel very I feel very special everybody who's watching the video this is a big deal definitely the most expensive car I've ever driven hands down by, by at least a couple hundred thousand too and of course within two minutes of me driving and I've stalled it and had trouble with it and truly like one of the kind of like the last you know amazing v12 engines that they made this and like the 812 super fast, you know, like that's that's kind of an end of an era because now, if, correct me if I'm wrong, Ferrari is moving over to sort of uh, turbocharged like V8s and such, right? So, all right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to give it a little bit of speed. Oh, my goodness. 
you guys, one of the most terrifying drives in my life. No kidding. Literally stalled it within the first two minutes of driving it. There were a bunch of supercars behind me, a bunch of very angry, normal Denver drivers. And, uh, oh, got my heart racing a little bit, but uh, what an experience to be able to drive a legend like that. I think I might even be able to drive it back from our photo shoot. So yeah, they're doing a photo shoot out here with a bunch of private jets. So we've got all three super rare Ferraris. That's what we're doing today, but uh, whew. Now it'd be a crime to send you guys off without actually showing you some of the interior, but everything is just built for racing. Exposed uh, flooring here, like this is just the metal right here. Nothing on top of it at all. There's really not that much in the dash either, guys. Very minimalistic display. You know, obviously it says the uh, the one of 99 limited there in the middle. Other than that, the car is doesn't really have much. We barely have even like any crazy racing modes here. Um, on the steering wheel. I mean, like this is kind of before they started going to electronic on a lot of different things. One of my favorite interior colors ever, the sort of two-tone tan and black. Uh, just amazing. You can actually see in the back, if we scoot on over, these were for luggage in the back. This is, this is essentially for taking trips. Like even though it's an incredible race car, you could take this on trips if you wanted to. Let's walk around back and take a look at the trunk space. I was super surprised. This is actually a really decent sized trunk space, guys. There's enough for me to throw in two full bags that I would have taken to the airport. It's pretty big. I could probably fit in here if I squeezed. We're not gonna do that. This is not that kind of video. So the reason why we're out here today is we teamed up with a company called X-Jet and they've got a pr bunch of private jets out here and we're doing a bunch of supercar shots with private jets. Maybe a little cliche, but kind of amazing at the same time. So this is what we're looking at right now. So right now, guys, we've got the private jet, the background, and the 458 Speciality. Looking very good. Not on my camera because I'm not a photographer, but you get the idea. Well, guys, since we have a minute, we might as well do a little bit of a walk around of the 16M Scuderia. Just at a crazy car. Like they only made 499 of these. This one is just incredible. Like it's really bizarre if you look at the bottom here. So if we take a look at the door here, guys, literally the entire thing is made of carbon fiber. It puts my car to shame with the amount of carbon fiber inside of it. All along the bottom, you can see the exposed floor here, sort of no creature comforts. Everything here is built for racing and everything in here has sort of a nice uh, yellow stitching to it. The seats in particular are gorgeous with uh, the yellow emblem in the back, yellow stitch on the side, uh, and then kind of yellow worked out through the majority of the seat as well. If we walk around to the back side of the car, guys, a huge glass uh, cover over the top of the engine. You know, it's funny, like I've never been a huge fan of the Scuderia until I saw this version of the car. Uh, it's sort of, especially like watching this thing drive behind me when I was driving the GTO, this thing is just like it lights up the road in a way that I think few cars can. It made me a believer. And we don't want to forget our fire extinguisher there because these cars get hot. Seriously guys, hard to imagine how special of a car that is. Look it up if you haven't. The 16M version of the Scuderia. So guys, right behind me is the 599 GTO that we actually got to drive up here. One of the craziest experiences of my entire life. And now we just happen to have it with a bunch of private jets for a private photo shoot. I don't know, this channel is becoming crazy, what can I say? Now guys, before we actually let the GTO leave the hangar, we're gonna do a quick little walk around set to some, uh, some nice music. So, three, two, one, go. amazing Ferraris today. They're bringing in the 599 GTO right now. Hopefully we'll get it in here without the incident. And with that, our day is over. And it's been, I mean, I, I didn't even expect to be able to drive the 599 GTO. It's like a dream come true. Like, I can't believe this is my life right now. I'm so grateful. Ferrari of Denver, literally the coolest people I've ever dealt with in the car world um, for dealerships. Like, they are so awesome, have been nothing but kind to me. If you're ever in the area, check out Ferrari of Denver. They're incredible people. And we're leaving Ferrari of Denver, everybody. Time to go home, back to the Macan Turbo. 
which is still quick. Not quite as quick as the cars we had today, but it's good. Seriously cannot believe that we had a chance to drive a 599 GTO today. Oh, it's amazing. Anyway, we're back home, guys. Back with the Macan, back and uh, relaxing a little bit. And I just wanted to let you guys know, in case you missed it in our last video, the Macan is getting a new wrap here very, very soon. And it's gonna blow this one away. This one was great. I enjoyed it. It was fun to have two cars that were along the same line. The new one is gonna blow people's minds. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. We love having you. Have a good one, guys. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you.